Okay, hi everyone. This is a short tutorial on how students can upload work in assignments. So this tutorial is mainly focused for students, but teachers, this is good information for you also. So first of all, I'm going to show you an assignment I've set in this team. I'm using this teacher training team, and inside this team, I've got um, five students, sample students. So let's just have a quick look. I've got students one, two, three three, four, and five. And in if I go to the general channel in the assignments, I've set an assignment. And here's the assignment that I've set, assignment on effects of ICT. And as a teacher, I can have a look at this. This is what the assignment looks like if I edit it. So I've got the title, the information for the students, and I've uploaded some resources for the students. So this is a question, um, if we have a quick look at it, this is what the student, one of the pieces of work the student has to do is answer the question in this Word document. So, a teacher will apply the resource. Now, resources could be question paper in Word or some other material that the student has to complete, or resources could be just informative material to help the student do a piece of work. So let's jump over now to the student area. So I'm going to cancel the edit on that. I will go to the student section. So this is the student, student number three. And the student has gone into the particular teams. Yes, I know it's called teacher training. Don't worry. This is going to be the student's uh, team, which the teacher has set up for the student. I'm going to go as a student to general, click on assignments, and I'm going to have a look at the assignments I've been given for this team or this subject it could be maths, history, ICT, whatever. And I can see here the assignment that's been set by my teacher due 26th of March. I'm going to click on it. Students, be very, very careful. You have to read the instructions carefully. This is where everybody goes wrong. Don't just jump to opening this Word document. So this particular assignment says that I have to do research on the prolonged use of ICT in my OneNote. A research page called IT Harmful Effects has been uh, placed, it should say there, in your homework section. So I've got to do something in OneNote. This is going to be a bit excessive, so you're going to have to do a lot of work here, supposedly. But I've done this so I can show you all the different ways you can upload work uh, for your assignment. Then you have to answer the question in the document attached. Here's the document attached. And then you've got to create the presentation using PowerPoint and how to prevent RSI. So we're going to create the presentation as well and add that also. And then you need to create the uh, poster, which you're actually going to draw, supposedly, on a piece of paper. And I'm going to show you, if you've done some written work or if you've done some creative work at home, how you can submit that as homework as well. So let's take the first one. The first one is this. I need to do some research in my OneNote. So I'm going to go to my general settings. I'm going to go to my class notebook. Now, it told me in the instructions, because I read them very carefully, in my notebook, in my area, in the homework section. So here's my class notebook. Click on this to open the menu. I go to my area. So that's my name, student number three. Here it will have your name. Remember the content library. This is where the teacher will add material for you. I'm going to click on my student three, go to my homework section. And here I can find the page that's been given to me so that I can do IT harmful effects. So I click on this. And this is where I'm going to do my homework. I need to do research, find some information. Here's my super fast typing. If I've got some pictures to support, again, read the information carefully. Now, once I finish this, or even if I haven't finished, I'm going to show you why now. I can go back. Here's the page where I've done my homework. I'm going to click on it with the right mouse button. Guys, your best friend on the computer is the right mouse button. So I'm going to right click on this. I'm going to copy the link to this page. A link is like when you do a search in Google and then you find some pages and you click on those links to go to a page. Well, this is what you've just copied now. So right click, I'm going to copy a link and I'm going to give this link to my teacher. So I go to my assignments. I'm going to find the assignment that I want to submit my work. Here it is, assignment on the effects of ICT. And now I want to add my work. So down here where it says add work, I'm going to click and I'm going to add a link. So wait for this to open. Here we go. So I'm not going to add something from OneDrive. I'm not going to create a new file. I'm going to add the link. So here's the link. I'm going to right click again. And because I've already copied the link, I can now paste it. There's the link. Okay. If you want a description, you can do that as well. Um, 
ICT homework, RSI research. Okay, and that's it. Now I'm going to attach this. Okay, and there it is there. Can you see it's attached as more work? Now, keep a note, your teacher hasn't been given this yet. So if you want to go back to your class notebook and make more changes, absolutely fine. You don't need to create the link again. Okay, so we've added the link and we can go back to our class notebook. We can go make some more changes. The teacher will only get the work once I click on this hand in. So I'm not going to do that yet because I've got more work to do. My next piece of work, it says, answer the question in the document attached. So this is the document the teacher gave me. I'm going to click on this and I've got two choices. I can either work on this online in Word. So I'm going to do that now. So I can either answer this question here in the space below, explain what RSI means and how it can be prevented. So again, I can put down space below do my super fast typing, do my answer, add some pictures. And once I finish, I simply click close. Now, automatically, all the students which are part of this team here, all of you, all the students will get a copy of this assignment and everyone will get a different version of this. Not the version, the same file, but their own copy of it. So if I open this again, which is what the teacher gave me, have a look. There it is. Yeah, there's my work, my super fast typing. If I wanted to do this in Microsoft Word on my computer, not online, because I want some other features, I can do the following. I can simply click on the three dots here and I can download this. And I'm going to download it somewhere. I've already downloaded this, but if I just click on save, it's going to save the, or the work in the downloads folder. Here's the downloads folder. So every if you go at the top, you find sure the downloads folder. I've already downloaded this in my folder on the desktop ICT assignment. But to do that, I simply do this. So I go to my assignment. Uh, no, I, that's a teacher. Let's go back to student. So here we go. Here's a student. So I click on it. And instead of save, I did save as. And I chose the folder where I want to save my work. So there it is there. So I went to desktop, ICT assignment, and I saved my work here. So it's always good to save your working folders and mean something. So I'm going to click cancel because I've already downloaded it. Cancel that, I've downloaded it. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to open this. Now, before I open it, once I've completed this work here, I'm going to want to upload my work and add it here. So instead of having two files called RSI question document, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to change this one and I'm going to put my name in front. So the teacher knows that I've actually made it another copy and this is the one I'm working with. I'm going to put my initials, NP, because all the copy this. Press enter. I'm going to open this. I'm going to uh, do my work. Now I'm working on Office Offline. I'm going to make it a little bit different so we can see the difference. Okay. And if I want to quickly insert a, a shape or just so that we can see the difference from one document to the other. There it is there. Okay. Now that I'm finished, I'm going to click on Save. And my work now is here. OK, I need to upload this. So what I can do is I can either put it in my OneDrive or directly from my folder. So let's do that. Go to the student. Here it is here. I'm now going to add work again. Remember, I've added the link. I'm going to add my Word document. And this time, I'm not going to go from OneDrive. I'm not adding a new file or link. I'm going to go down here, upload from this device. This device is my computer. So I need to go to where I save my work, which is the desktop. Go to ICT assignment. Here's my work. Can you see NPRSI questions? Select that and go to open. There it is now. Now it's uploading it. I'm done. Can you see there? There's my other document there. So I've got the original document the teacher sent me, and here's my document. And this is the link. Now, the next thing I want to do, the teacher saying create the presentation or PowerPoint. I'm going to show you another thing now. We can again, we can always go to our folder. Create the PowerPoint, save it here, and then add that. But now I'm going to show you something else. I'm going to go to Add Work, and I'm going to create a new file. And I can create a Word document, a PowerPoint, or an Excel. I'm going to create a PowerPoint. I'm going to call it, again, RSI Presentation. And I'm going to attach that. Now, what this has done, it's just attached a blank presentation. What does that mean? Well, I can click on this here, and I can use PowerPoint online to actually create the presentation. If I want to download it, I can, and then I can upload it. It's up to you. The idea is you can create a new file instantly. So you can do everything online. 
and here it is so this is powerpoint online i can add my title uh, prevent rsi oops so capital click on this one buy okay and then you can add more slides and okay you can't do everything you can do with the downloaded version to powerpoint 2016 but you can practically do nearly anything you want you know for a basic presentation absolutely fine the magic thing is you don't need to save it just close and all your changes are already saved in the assignment now keep in mind we haven't submitted the assignment yet so i can still go back to my OneNote and make changes here I can go open my document either online and or if I want to work on it offline, I can click on this. I can remove this file, go to my offline version here, make changes. And then when I finished, I can go and add it back again by going to add work. I've created a PowerPoint presentation online. Again, if I want to do some more um, fancy things with this, I can click on this and download it, modify it. Then I could remove this one and just add the new one again. That's absolutely fine. So here's one more. Let's say I've done a piece of work, a piece of um, artwork or something, and I want to give that to my teacher. Well, I'm going to have to take a picture of it. Now, I can't explain to you how to connect your mobile phone to a computer to access it. But a quick way is you can send, take a picture with your mobile phone. You can send it by email to yourself, save it on your computer, save it to OneDrive, upload it to OneDrive. If you want, you can connect your mobile phone to your computer. You can search your phone, find the picture. You just have to somehow have access to that digital file. So I'm just going to go to add work again. Let's say the picture's in OneDrive. If I put it in my OneDrive, I can open this from my OneDrive. I've actually got this, um, just found the poster. It's got nothing to do with anything. Um, so I've put this, I've saved this on my desktop. I'm going to add the poster and I'm going to click on open. And there we go. I've now added already one, two, three, four pieces of work. Okay. Now this one here, this was the original paper from the teacher. Okay. I cannot delete this one because that's a resource the teacher has given you. But I can delete the other ones and resubmit them if I want to because these are the ones that I've added. When you've finished and you've done everything, guess what? Simple enough. Click on hand in. Wait for the animation. Wow, rainbow and a unicorn. Excellent. And then I realized I forgot to add something in my PowerPoint. What shall I do? Well, the deadline hasn't come yet. I can undo the hand in. So come back to my assignment, undo it. That's like telling the teacher, sorry, sir, sorry, miss. I forgot to add something. Can I just fix it? The deadline has not been met yet. I can go back, either your PowerPoint presentation, delete something, add something. And then once you've corrected it, added more work, absolutely fine you can just go back and say hand in that's it guys what the teacher will get well the teacher will open the assignment here hopefully if this is a there we go student three has handed in their work and what i'm going to see now as a teacher when the teacher clicks on this student there we go i've got all these pieces of work that that student has just handed in and i can click on it from here as a teacher and view it directly from teams making everything a whole lot easier for me. So here's the Word document as well. That's it, guys. So um, for you, you now know how to add a link from a OneNote page. You know how to upload files from your computer. You know how to create new files directly from the assignment. You know how to add files from OneDrive. Just put them in OneDrive, click on OneDrive and add them. You're set.